呃 ，Mr. Gao， 高先生就现在可以开始了啊。好的，那个 OK， 谢谢,谢谢美丽的主持人。Thank you, our beautiful moderator, and also our colleagues from Canada, representatives from Canada. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to share with you about uh, about uh, the uh, soil pollution prevention, the market the industry, and the prospect. I myself uh, have uh, have a certain communication with the uh, uh, Canadian Soil Pollution Control. First, in 2017-2018, I led a delegation to the Banshu in Canada to participate in the International Symposium on Soil Pollution Control. And uh, I had a lot of discussion with the Canadian counterpart and a good discussion and also learn a lot from, from you. So today, uh, it uh, gives me great pleasure and uh, to participate in the business council meeting. Okay, without further ado, first I like to share my screen with you. So today I would like to share with you about uh, introduction of CSER and current situation of soil pollution control. I am uh, today's reporter, Secretary General of Zhongguan Sun Zhongxin Soil Remedy Industry Technology Innovation Alliance. And we are a member of the Zhongguan Sun Organizing Organization Committee, and our main business is, is to conduct the soil remedial and also underwater protection. Oh, this PPT slide is a certain introduction to my company. You can sort of you can see the introduction of CSER, the Chinese and English version of my company. So, brief introduction. CSER is organized by Zhongguan Chun Zhongxin Soil Remedy Industry Technology Innovation Alliance. It's jointly initiated by all by China University of Mining and Technology, Mineral Resources Research Institute of Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences, Military Education Engineering Research Center of Beijing Normal University, Environmental Protection Research Institute of Light Industry, China Energy Conservation and Environmental Protection Group, and General Research Institute of Mining and Meteorology. And uh, we are devoted to the uh, soil and underground water remedial industry. CSER approved and established on July 23rd, 2018, becomes a national mass organization with its business registered in the military civil affairs. And we conducted uh, consulting, training, meeting, exhibition, undertaking, and the related international exchanges. And currently, we have uh, more than 150 members. Okay, just now a brief introduction of who is CSER and now what did the CSER do? And what can we provide to our members and to the company and the, what does CSER want to do in the future? Okay, if you understand three key words related to CSER, so what is, first is legality with Zhongguan Chen Zhongxin Soil Remedy Industry Technology Innovation Alliance as its full name. It is a unique soil remedial organization registered at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Talking about authoritativeness, it is in 
initiated by over 30 institutes such as China University of Mining and Technology, Beijing, Mineral Resource Research Institute of Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences, Environmental Protection Research Institute of Light Industry, and China Energy Conservation and Environmental Protection Group. It has over 150 member units. Especially, CSER has three major think tank resources, such as Field Underwater Remedian Farmers and Finding, and also we have 80 core experts. So our talent think tank can provide professional support for international exchanges. Uh, okay, in the soil remedian industry, what kind of special services can we provide? For example, policy, technology, and the project information. And second is about the new technology equipment and the project review and the evaluation. Of course, we have certain certification and qualification. Third is the tendering and bidding services for soil remedian projects, talent service. Fifth is industrial consulting. Each year we have an annual report about industrial consulting. For example, in 2017, we have China Soil Remedial Technology and Market Development Review. And this year we have issued China Soil Remedial Technology Materials and Application. The sixth part of services is technical achievement and transformation. We pay full attention to advanced technology technology transfer. It is one of our key priorities of work. And also each year we hold one or two technology exchange meetings annually, circling around heavy metal prevention, soil remedial and underwater protection. And each year we organize three to five uh, topic training annually with trainees not less than 180 people and as for standard we approve two to three group standards annually and this year we approve three and the chinese research academy of environmental sciences central south university and other units have submitted their standard approval proposal so if you have related work concerning about it you can contact us and the first part is about uh, research especially industry research and the fifth part is about consulting carried out uh, uh, the soil remedial work on the basis of our experience and also advantages okay our other business businesses for example international exchange and collaboration undertaking relevant authority patients from the government uh, for international collaboration started from 2016 together with the uh, Canadian Alberta project and related uh, companies we carried out uh, Romanian international exchanges and collaboration and also just now I mentioned uh, I've been to Canada Bansu in 2016 2017 and I got the support from the Canadian government. Uh, great thanks to Canadian government for your support. So our follow-up direction first is that new technology achievement communication center of SCSER. Due to the 14th five plan of China is on the way, and uh, we pay special attention to soil remedial, smart soil, and also we have a lot of foreign and uh, domestic technologies which can. Um, do contribution to the soil remedial work in the 14th five year plan. And also we have a very, very important uh, work it is to carry out online, online in education. This is a, a very special year due to the COVID-19 <coughs> and our work and our daily life are greatly influenced by COVID-19. So for today's communication uh, format uh, online, it's very, very popular recently. And we also established our online called, called uh, Huan Zai Xian, uh, Green Online. That is our uh, network. That is a small application in the WeChat. 
So if you are interested, you can search it. And uh, we have uh, done more than 100 e sessions of the underwater remedi remedian and also soil remedial work. Okay, this is about some of the activities organized by my company. I especially selected four pictures. The four pictures is uh, first, it is the uh, 2016 the Farm Field uh, Heavy Mental Pollution Prevention and Technology Exchanges meeting. The second is about uh, 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 domestic uh, soil remedial technology evaluation course. So at each year we have two of them. One is about the farm field, another is about the, the industry, especially for the agri for the industrial production. The last two pictures are specially selected by me. When we have organized a salon for the three people three people discussion and also we got the approval of the Alberta province of Canada, especially about how China has done. China can Canadian experience in soil pre prevention. And also we have invited the project manager from the Canada side to share um, your experiences in how to deal with it. And the fourth picture is about um, 2018, January in Hangzhou. We have organized the China Ever China Canada Alberta Ramedian Soil Ramedian conferences as as well as the annual meeting. At that time, we got a special delegation from Canada, and we have fourteen delegations from Canada delegators, and the, the team members made their deliver their speech showing Canadians best practices and technologies in the Canadian um, soil Ramadian and it has got the um, attention from all the industry. Just now, I introduced my company. And now, I would like to show you the analysis on the current situation of soil remedial market. According to the data of certain industry company, from the first half of 2020, the, through the public tender information shows that there are 1,628 soil remedial projects and 9 billion total investment in the first half of 2020. And 20 million market scale is uh, predicted throughout the year. Among them, industrial field remedial and pollution investigation accounts for over 60%. That is the data, data talks. What is the current uh, industry situation? And that is uh, 2020 key priority soil remedial projects will be released gradually with the compilation of the enterprise land investigation in key industries and improvement of soil prevention and control awareness enterprises in 2020, which is expected to be to be ended by the end of October. And with government procurement service as their business model, the projects are funded by the government and the capital of national demonstration project applied by the enterprise. The first one is, uh, I would like to say to our companies, that if you can grasp the professional technology, so the new companies are really, really great, especially for the special technology, the heat instrument, uh, and also some of the processing technology, and also for the uh, stabilization and the plant remedial technology. If in a certain part for certain uh, pollution pollutants, you have special technology. So if, if that is situation, you, you have ample market potential in China. Okay, as for the technologies, policies, and regulations, the currently relevant regulations and policies for soil prevention control in the 14th five year plan are advancing. It's estimated that in the 14th five year plan, we are speeding up in soil prevention. 
And as for the concrete policies, they are being implemented. As for the industry, for remedial industry, currently the industry focuses on seeking out resources and investigating over the past two years. And the uh, uh, next uh, five years, that is the uh, 14th five year plan, we will speed up uh, in the period. And there are a lot of market opportunities in it. And third is about, about market opportunity. Currently, the market is focuses on industrial fields and underground water prevention control. The future priority is ecological remedial in mining areas and national land space and other favorite fields. That is my judgment about the future priority, and you can pay special attention to that. And the fourth is about new remedial materials and technologies. The industry has relatively urgent demands for technology, especially the technology of subdivided professional fields, for example, thermal remedial, biological, and solidifying, stabilized control technologies. And uh, compared with the international level, China is still lagging behind. So the outstanding companies uh, from foreign countries, if you can come to the China market, you are very competitive. And uh, if the related technology company from the Canada market wants to join the China market and have further discussion with the China side, for example, uh, our company, CSER, is a very good platform because we have 150 members. And also we have more than a thousand database. These kind of resources can be interwoven together. This is the large treatment technology. And our colleague find us. There's many about uh, large uh, treatment uh, technology. And also, I made uh, two pictures by myself. And you can look at uh, the technologies. For example, washing separation technology. And second is uh, pyrolytic technology. <coughs> With the help of surface uh, um, surfactant to lower the tension at oil water interface, the washing separation refers to three phase separation oil, water, and mud after oil is dispersed under the effect of uh, Contrifigal machine. It features oil recycling, <coughs> no equipment cost, safe operation, and low operating cost. Its effect depends on whether the compatible surfactant, surfactant can be separated effectively. It requires a sustained R&D team for formula matching due to the high requirement for drugs. And the washing separation is applicable for wet materials and sludge and uh, sandy soil reaching water and resource. The second is about uh, um, pyrolytic technology. As a common technology in the industry, pyrolysis refers to converting oil in sludge to gas phases through heating before separating it through condensation. Waste the gas and the water are recycled after oil separation, featuring high equipment and operation costs. That's low capacity, poor effect, and high operation costs of a treatment and start reaching what I will call it. Tenders 27 billion uh, square meter slot treatment worldwide in 2020. It is uh, clearly specified in a tender requirement and an insinuation and uh, the technology is not applicable. And also we have other technologies, for example, incineration, cement case treatment technology, for example, Karma E701 project. And the two hot oil field Yudong adoption plan project, the Da Qin sludge treatment project, the Huawei oil field sludge treatment project, Zhoushan clearance oil bag treatment project. For this list, they are done by our member member places. And as for the market and treatment, our uh, estimate it is that Da uh, Qin was about 500 million MB in large treatment annually. If this accounts for 10% of the market shares nationwide, 
the national market is about Bible and IMB annually. So this is my personal judgment. Uh, this is uh, only for your reference. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your listening. That is my introduction today. Thank you, Mr. Gao, for your presentation.